Thank you for tuning in. Artificially Genuine, Episode 7, Part 5. Uh, so just like we always mention at the end of every episode, we want to talk about mental health. We want to pro- provide some positivity. Just know that you're not alone. Please reach out to like a family member, a friend, uh, sometimes a complete stranger. Just when you vent, you'll let a lot of that bad energy out. Um, people do want to listen, give them the time, and then uh, reciprocate. Somebody might be going through something too, so just listen. Oh, yeah, man. It's like it's almost like a therapist, right? Like a therapist, you give them, you know, your problems, and then they tell you, hey, you know, this is what's going on with you. But the main thing is just venting and getting that stuff out that you have inside you, I think, mental yeah. health-wise. Yeah. How are you guys doing mentally? Are you cool? Are you guys all right? Uh, How are you guys I'm feeling? I'm good. I'm in a really good state. Uh, like I said, when I do these pods, I, I vent. I have a good time. I'm, it's therapy to me, so when I'm done, I feel even more relaxed. Yeah, me too, man. I found this is a good, uh, it's a good energy. It feels like at the gym, like you just like, I should be going to the gym though, but <laughs> it feels like a mental gym of like just getting information out and just the way I feel and being honest. This is my therapy too, Fabian. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? How you How feel, you, bro? Jeremy? I feel tired. <laughs> yeah, me too. A low key. Uh, for me, I think it's just, just having a, a male group. I like, I know it's weird to say, but just having friends that I can just kind of hang out with and have a, like a little tribe kind of yeah that's how I, I mean just having people there male or whatever your group is but buddies to bros I, just, I can say stuff and not be judged and ha ha stupid joke you know i don't know i, th- I think that's the little mental health that i enjoy okay. yeah but uh other than that um i think exercising like you said i need to start gymming more too and i've done mm-hmm. it recently i am so out of shape bro yeah i have a treadmill at the house and i'm like i'm gonna go on i need to get, i need to jump on it i have been doing it for a while and i did the incline you told me about incline 15 yeah. minutes dude Killer. i was drenched wet thinking about cheeseburgers like oh do you know i'm so hungry <laughs> you uh, earned it though right dude, oh man but the incline killed me but it was, it was a good little workout yeah i need to start that yeah. out very nice yeah. yeah um another thing is we like to use uh, chat gpt ai to kind of at least get us to the next level sometimes we run out of questions but we always want to have something on the back end um there's a quote that i looked up Every um, every setback is a setup for a comeback, so keep fighting. Dang. Um, I feel like this podcast, we always run into this little audio troubles, visual troubles, whatever the case is, but we come back, and we come back way better than before. So don't feel like a small setback is going to take you out completely. Find ways, ask questions, look up stuff, man, YouTube University, uh, man, it'll get you to the next step. Is there anything that you guys have been through that you're like, fuck, it set me back, but only for a better comeback? My whole life, man. Fuck. Really? Yeah, I think for me it's more of a, more of a getting started with something. I always procrastinate on stuff. And I think just if you have an idea that you want to do, just start it tomorrow. Start it tonight. Set it up because you can think about it for months and be like, oh, next week, next week. I'll do it next week. Next week's never going to come. Yeah. Just jump at it. And just start start the first day, even if it's just like, let me write it down. And tomorrow for 30 minutes, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I think that's that's my little yeah. comeback moment. That's a, you know? that's a good one. Mine, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 I was yeah. going to say, uh, the Joe Rogan says on his podcast, uh, something that hit me. He said, be, be, you're that character in the beginning of the 90s, like fight movies where he's like all hung over eating pizza. And, he, and you just kind of, you're the loser. And then. You become that superhero that you want to be and think yeah. about yourself as that. You are a loser right now, but you don't have to choose that life. Oh, you fucking losers. Yeah, no, yeah. Playing around. We're all losers, <laughs> yeah. right? We're all, it's all beautiful yeah. losers, bro. But I agree with that, dude. Um, like, like I want to use Fabian's thing, what he said right now about this podcast and stuff. Like, I don't know how to uh, video edit. Like, I didn't learn. I, like, I literally, like, studied it for a long time, but it was like I knew it was going to come. So it's like... If there's things that are going to be like obstacles, like let's just say audio engineering or 
uh, video and stuff, like, go and research it, bro. Like, like Fabian said, YouTube has, I learned everything on YouTube, bro. Like, I don't know how to do I haven't mastered none of this, but I've learned it, like, on the go. Like, and those are, like, the ups and downs. Like, I knew one day I was going to do it, so I've been researching it for months and months and months, years, bro learning but one day i knew i was going to do it like that that loser like one day i'm gonna i'm gonna have to learn this so i might as well start learning it now and so it got me to where i am able to actually do the video for what we're doing and that's all just learning online dude and learning and failing that's the part of the whole thing people don't like to fail like oh i'm gonna get 100 people watching me like no bro fail, fail. you have to fail fail and be okay with failing because failing is going to lead you to success that route doesn't work another one will yeah sometimes you got to change your vocabulary yeah. failure is just uh uh, trial is just a lesson, yeah. so you don't got to think about it as a failure. Yeah. It's a lesson that you learned. You're not going to do that lesson if you don't want to, but attempt, do yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, there's another quote. The journey to, the, to better mental health is a marathon, not a sprint, so yeah. pace yourself. You don't got to accomplish everything overnight, in a week, in a month. Dude, it, it, you have a whole life full. Um, ideally, you want to get to those 90s. But if you're wherever you're at, man, you still have time, pace yourself. And biggest yeah. thing is communicate. Yeah. Uh, sometimes just venting uh, kind of uh, reduces that anxiety, that depression. So um, how do you guys think about that? Yeah, well, uh, if I could, I could put you on that right there, what you just said, uh, um, it's not a race. Like, you're not against anybody, bro. Like, you're not too late. Like, oh, podcasting or, oh, it's... There's already too many X, Y, Zs out. I'm not going to be able to, like, bro, just go and do it, and it's going to lead you to something else. Like, whether that's hot right there, at least you learned what you have to do. So you, you, you get all this growth and all these errors, and then you kind of, like, get, like, your like your pack of things that you learned. And the next thing, you're going to get, you're like, oh, you know what? We should do this. And you already have all that knowledge from before. Rather than you just barely starting something, you don't know what to do. You bring that knowledge with you. It's about making that backpack full of shit of, of papers that you, you I want to do this. And, like, that didn't work. Throw it in the bag. And you have this big bag and you have this big bag of knowledge and then not only that doing it attempting the new thing and sharing the knowledge with other people around you too as well yeah that's how you guys win okay that's deep yeah yeah that's, that, that kind of hit me right now just thinking through failure don't be scared to fail through failure you become successful because mm -hmm. if you fail and you don't do it anymore you might why did you even start but after you failed and you learned something that's not failure it's you're becoming more wise. But uh, some of you guys were saying earlier about um, not not social media right now. It's so crazy because you're like, oh, they're going to do this and oh, they're having fun and oh, look, they just bought a new car. It's never, don't compare yourself to somebody else. Always just try to beat yourself. I worked out four hours this week. Next week, four hours and a half. It's always making yourself better. Don't, don't, don't put it where, oh, my friend's all working out 12 hours a day and he wakes up all early. Nah, take your steps. If it's 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes. It, your progress. Beat your progress. A win's a win. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense, bro. 100%. Yeah, that kind of leads me into my next quote. Um, you have the power to write your own story one chapter at a time. So kind of like you said, you're not battling anyone. You're not going against anyone. Yeah. It's a personal record. As long as you're doing better than you did yesterday, you're winning. I heard, uh, I was listening to uh, 2 Chains the other day, and on one of his kind of bars, he puts, if you woke up today, you're already winning. Yeah. So yeah. if like, dude, if you get the chance to wake up, do something with it. Don't bring that negativity. There's no need. Everybody's going to be in a different um, lane than you are. Uh, but you don't got to compare yourself. Yeah. Just keep doing what you yeah. do. You know what's good, what's bad, and just try to try to progress. Yeah, and they say that saying goes is like the biggest the biggest theft of joy is comparison. Mm -hmm. oh, damn, like yeah. that that right there is just like if you start comparing people. Oh, he has a bigger car. He has a new house. He has this. He has. They're going on a trip. They're hanging out. Like bro, like focus on yourself. You're focusing on something else. Focus on your own shit. Like my brother said. Uh, if you if you don't know what to do and you're like okay look, you gotta it's a it's a fucking journey like you have to figure out what you want to do and if it's like I need to walk every single day and that'll make you happy and then you reach that and you walk every day figure out something else what else is gonna make me happy oh let me go read a book a day then you read a book a day two three four books educating yourself like there's there's like no one there is no destination like just go and figure it out like 
what you like and don't like. Don't just stop and be like, well, I could do a better this. I could do a better music. I could do that. Like, go and do it and fucking learn that this is, like, there's so many failures behind people that are doing it that you don't see. You just see one thing. A person like, wow, he's making a whole album. Like, why can I make an album like that? But there's a whole thing that goes behind it. There's a whole iceberg under it. Like, go, go make your iceberg, dude. Yeah. Nobody really posts their, their negativity, yeah. their, their sadness. Everybody just posts when they're on the high end. And yeah. people will see that light of it. We're like, oh, they're always having a great time. Yeah. Like, I get more like, oh, you're always traveling. Yeah. I'm not traveling all the time. And the only reason why I am traveling is because I'm working my butt off. Yeah. I'm working my butt off on the back end, dude. I'm putting out over time. I'm, I'm doing all this other stuff. Yeah. So don't just take the first image that you see. Um, just know that everybody goes through those up and downs. Nobody's on that high end all the time. Yeah. Um, so just take the time. Take the time. Understand yourself. Take that uh, time to at least understand who you are, where you want to go, who you want to be with. Because, Joel, you never went out. But the time that I went out with you on that cruise, I had the best time. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't have to be the first time around, second time. You're going to find that group of people that they're going to put you in a state of mind where you're, you're going to be the on, on cloud nine. Yeah. And the hard part, too, is you're going to be around people and you're going to realize, oh, they're not good for me. And that's a hard part, but it's a part of growth to realize, oh, it's okay to push people away from you that, that are not good in your life. So yeah. say, say all your friends love to go out and go eat, but you want to get on a diet, hey, maybe you should start making friends who like to work out, and those influence will influence you guys. Yeah, you are who you hang out with. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Um, all right. Well, thank you for staying with us. Artificially genuine. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. We appreciate you. We love you. Everyone and just you go ahead and reach out to us if you don't have nobody else. Uh, but artificially, artificially genuine. We'll be right back. Yeah, man. Bye, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Black Giggle. Yeah, that was a good show, man. <laughs> <laughs>